Good morning, everyone. Um, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, thanking you for yet another day that you have preserved for us. Another day of life, dear Lord. As long as we have life, you have a purpose for us to do stuff. And dear Lord, we might not know everything in detail that we should be doing, but at the end of the day, we know that if we are faithful unto you, you will lead us. And if we trust in you, you would guide us, dear Lord. And it's for us to put our total faith in you and to be led by your Holy Spirit, be instructed by your word. And we know the end of that is your eternal blitz. And this is what we look for, dear Lord. We look for the promises to come. But nevertheless, whilst we abide in this life, we just pray that you keep us faithful unto you in everything that we do, thought, word, deed, dream, speech, everything, dear Lord, that we do, say, think. I just pray that you conform it to the image of your dear Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, as we continue to traverse in this world, dear Lord, I just pray that we do not take our eyes off the fact that this world, it has its, it has its day of judgment. And there is an end of all things according to your word in this world. And we just pray that we do not get taken away with the cares of this life, with the lust of the flesh, with the desires of the eyes, with the pride of life, or with the deceitfulness of riches, in so much that we are taken away with the with our enemies but dear lord keep us attentive and watchful dear lord each and every moment of our life knowing that we do have enemies of christ which will be our enemies and we have the ultimate enemy which is the devil um which is going around trying to consume us so i just pray that you keep us and lead us in the path of righteousness so that we are not taken away in the snares and traps of the evil one and as always, dear Lord, I pray for health and strength for each and every person to traverse this life and to do your will so that we can, we can do it vigor, with vigor and with zeal. And for those who you have permitted that, they, well, we do pray for healing for everyone, dear Lord. And um, as always, we just pray for the help for help dear lord when we are going through the tests and trials and tribulations of life that we do not succumb to them nor be overcome but that we overcome all things through christ jesus who have taught us likewise and that our children are grown up in the knowledge of who you are so when they're of age they shall never neglect nor reject you so we thank you for all things lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning lord jesus christ we pray amen all right so romans 5 verse 1 says <clears throat> therefore being justified by faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ all right what is this peace of god right the peace of god is not according to the peace of this world because sometimes it can get it can get twisted, right? Because, it, first of all, we have to have the perspective of what we consider as true peace. True peace is not just being comfortable in this world because we know that this world is anti-God, right? So true peace is the peace that surpasses understanding and I'll go in depth with that a little bit this morning. All right. <coughs> the chapter before this was, I believe, speaking about... Um, just faithful servants who were faithful, right? Yeah, it spoke about Abraham, right? And you can imagine Abraham was about a hundred years old when he or a hundred when he had his his um his son Isaac. This man was faithful unto God, even in his, his earlier years. He was faithful unto God. And somebody might look and say, But Jelani if he's faithful unto God, why did God delay his, 
his blessing because we know that children are blessing why did god de delay his blessing till he was old right god did it because he had a specific time there's a timeline for everything to come to pass and god had it that his son um, isaac had to be born at that time but that doesn't mean that abraham just forsook god right he didn't just forsake god because of his because of god's timing he was still faithful and right and we didn't hear abraham being ungodly i don't think i have any um record here in the scripture where abraham was just being outright ungodly because he couldn't be asked to he couldn't be asked to wait on god's timing no he was faithful and this is why the promise ultimately came through him because he was a faithful servant of god in so much that even god called him a friend right so <coughs> the peace of god what i'm talking about doesn't necessarily mean that you get everything that you want right sometimes the peace of god means that you are disrupted from your know, the normal comfortable life right um you might have been in a good job you might have been working x amount of money um all of these things and then for whatever reason god see it fit that these things need to be taken away from you but it's not for us to be um what should i say it's not for us to be um overcome with grief because of these things right because ultimately what we should be having peace in is that god is our god and he is our heavenly father and he will provide for us no matter what we have or what we don't have in this world he's able to sustain our lives we have examples of job um we have example of david right these people if you think about it their life was rough right um if you look at even Job and Abraham and um, Isaac and Jacob, well, mostly Jacob. Jacob did have a, a, a hard life if we just look at it in comparison to, say, somebody else that was just flaunting it in this world, right? But, as I said, they had an understanding with God that God is God Almighty, right? They were humble enough to know that whatever God said, it must be good because God is good. He's the only definition of good and um, they remain faithful and that peace mean, of that surpasses all understanding means that whatever you face in this life yet still we have confidence that our God is with us right he will bring us through all things and even if we, su we suffer for him, his sake even if we put um, to death for his sake let me go to the extreme right even if we put to death for his sake we know that um, these things are temporary. He's the God that gives life. He's the God that created all things. So it, it, it would make sense to put your faith and trust in him and have peace that, well, if I lose my life for Christ's sake, then we're happy because now we're going to get that eternal life. We're going to be faithful until death. We're going to be faithful until the end. And we're going to have eternal life because he has promised these things and he cannot lie. Right? So I went to this, the... the the extreme right of death but as i said it might not even be right to the extreme of death it might just be that in this life we suffer for christ's sake being persecuted being um, um rebuked by people being um people to separating from you and not wanting to deal with you because of your relationship with christ but as i just said you should be rejoicing you know why because this is showing you that christ is actually living in you and being manifested in you because they did the same thing to christ right remember christ did all of these things all of these miracles and when it came to it when he was to be um, crucified all but a few departed from him right where was those five thousand uh, people that were following him when he was giving out the free fish and bread they were nowhere to be seen when he was being crucified but that didn't stop him from still loving us until the end and doing all these things for us right so as I said, we just want to talk this morning just a little bit about the, the peace of God. And um, as I said, that comes through faith. And faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We have faith in God through Christ Jesus. And we believe that he is the Messiah. He is the Christ, the son of the living God. And through him, we have 
um, eternal life, the gift of the Holy Spirit, and that kingdom to come, we shall be with him forevermore. Right, so I'll leave it at that this morning, everyone. Any questions, anything that you want to send in, you can send in to the word at eachreachone.org or you can um, drop a comment in the comment section. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.